So Invercargill Airport is currently investing and upgrading the runway that we've got out here. We've got Downer currently resealing our runway. The runway we've got is our absolutely most important piece of infrastructure on the airport and so it's important for Invercargill Airport to keep investing, making sure it's in operating condition at all times. So working in this airport environment is quite a high pressure environment because you've got aeroplanes taking off into the evening and then we get handed over the runway part way through the night and we know that there's a tight time frame for us to get our work completed in a safe and efficient manner and hand the runway back over to the airport before the first flight in the morning because having any delays would have a major impact on our client. Well, we have a toolbox at the start of the night to make sure everyone knows where they fit but yeah we're, we're a tight team so yeah being the airport very high pressure we're only limited to like nine o'clock till five o'clock in the morning. Downer is applying sustainable methods in this project. All of our equipment, we're trying to constantly reduce our idle time, and we've got a big push right now to move towards carbon neutrality. Our asphalt mix design incorporates 5% recycled crushed glass by mass and on this project in particular, that works out to about 800,000 beer bottles. And that's 800,000 beer bottles that have been generated within Invercargill. So it's locally crushed glass from the community that's put back into the pavement. So Downer has a strong relationship with the Invercargill Airport and we've built through that through collaboration. We've built trust through being honest and letting our client know what surprises there may be and keeping them informed all the way along. That attention to detail, that demand for high quality has been what's really set things apart. And there's a level of professionalism you can feel amongst the team that's out there that they just know what they're doing, they've got the right gear, they've got spare gear, and they're on top of it. The team that's delivering this work right now is locally based, Otago and Southland team members. They you know, grew up here, they, they participate in the community. I've been working with them for the last five years. I've seen these guys grow and develop from you know, people that might not be able to participate in a project like this and their skill set has grown to a level that they can deliver top quality work under high pressure situations and I couldn't be more proud of them.